Hi, my lovely viewers. Thank you for coming back to watch my channel again. I'm so humbled. Thank you for subscribing too. Our family is increasing each day and that makes me so happy. If you're new to this channel, you're most welcome. This is the right place to be. Meet the lucky mom here. Deborah Anjika is my name. I created this channel to give my viewers hope and encourage you to be optimistic. No situation is permanent. Once you choose to work with God, everything is possible. So if you are new to this channel, you're most welcome. And uh, let's share this journey of hope together. In case you've not subscribed, consider to subscribe. Uh, I feel most welcome. So today our sharing is about allow God to deal with you. That is the topic of our sharing. But before that, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life as we to do our sharing. We ask you to help us so that it can have a great impact onto our lives. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Allow God to deal with you. You know, we are used uh, to be maybe threatened by our fellow human beings that you know what. I'm going to deal with you if you don't do this and that. Or if you have missed your work, if you have, you're not delivering, I'm going to deal with you. This is threats, called threats, mostly we get from our fellow human beings. They can be above us, they can be our brothers, they can be our sisters, they can be our church elders, they can be our pastors. When somebody is just trying to threaten you that you know what, I'm going to deal with you because of something maybe you did that didn't please them so but today we are going to uh, share about God are you going to allow uh, somebody to threaten you that I'm going to deal with you and you get scared today I want to tell you that the only person who will allow to deal with you is just God allow God to deal with you that is our sharing and the key verses from the book of numbers chapter 22 verse 19 my Bible records but stay here one more night, and I will see if the Lord has anything else to say to me. This is, he was a prophet of God, a seer. Let me call him a seer because this, he was the most respected prophet that he could say anything that God has told him and it will happen. So, this is, these were the words of Balaam. Uh, Palam, we found we find him in the Old Testament. Uh, there's this king of Moab called Palak. Now, when the Israelites came and occupied uh, Moab, uh, the region of Moabites, this king Palak was afraid because he didn't want the Israelites to settle there because of strange things that were happening to the neighborhood where the Israelites had settled. So. He wanted to try his best to get the Israelites out of Moabites, of the Moabite land. So he sent his men. He used the son of Palam. Palam had a son, uh, Paul. So he used Paul. He gave, he gave him some money, and his men went to approach this prophet of God, Palam, to come and curse uh, the Israelites so that they will be uh, restless. They will have no any power. The Moabites can defeat them and send out uh, them out of their land. So this man of uh, God, Balaam, he was respected. He was known. So these people, uh, the men of Balak, went to him, approached him, and told him that the king wants him to go, so that he can curse the Israelites. Uh, they will so that they will not overpower them. They can be able. To defeat them and send them out of their land. So the first time, uh, this man of God, Palam, he was very clear. He said, "You know what? Uh, I will not go. I have to consult God and see and hear what He says." This is the first time this man approached him. Then God told Balaam, "Do not go. Those are my people." do not go to cast them so the first time uh it was good balaam told them you know what now you can go because 
I will not go. God has not accepted. They went back. You know, this man had already said he had set a reward for Walam. In case he curses them, he was going to be given a reward. So, this king did not get tired. The second round, he sent his men. They went. And this is when now this man, 22 verse 19, says, But stay here one more night. This is when now they came the, they came the second round. And I will see if the Lord has anything else to say. You know, this man now, he has now again changed. We knew him as the man of God. Now he has changed. That now stay one more night. He wanted to insist so that he can go. But you know what? He insisted. But you know what? God uh, allowed him to go. But he told him, you know what? You will go. But you will do, you will do what I will tell you. Not what that king will tell you. Sometimes you know we force things. That is true. You know that this thing is wrong. God doesn't like it. Yes. But you force. And God says God can allow you to do it because you have insisted. When you directly oppose him, he'll just allow you to go on so that you can see the consequences of your sin. So this man agreed. Now decided to go. He, he went to his, his two men, rode his dangy. On the way, the dung refused to move. The angel of the Lord appeared him because God was angry with this journey. And the, the dung did not move. Palam started beating the dung. The dung doesn't move. The dung changed direction. And and it and and the palam again beat the dung. That is when you say that God no God works. Then the dung turned to Palam and asked him, Why are you pitying? Why have you beaten me three times? Why have I done? <laughs> Palam was the first man to speak with the dung in the whole world. And I've never heard anybody spoke to the dung. And then he was surprised. That is when the angel of the Lord appeared to him and told him, You know, I was there. The dung saw me. That is why it did not move. It, if it were not for the dung, I could have killed you. But now I have spared your life. This man was ashamed. He went on the ground. We need to learn something from here. Finally, he reached it there. And instead of cursing those Israelites, God directed him to bless them. So what is, what, what is, what, why did, did I decide to share this? Sometimes let's allow God to deal with us, not human beings. Let's not be moved by material things of this world because they will take us nowhere. This man wanted it. You can you can you can you can feel that he had some greediness in him. He really wanted this. He really wanted this reward in a way that uh, he didn't want. I don't know how I can put it, but there is something. This you can smell greed in this man. He really wanted this reward because he, he thought maybe the Israelites were that were that sinful. Uh, maybe God will punish them, but he didn't know that God had already dealt with them and he had already now uh, forgiven them their sins. Now he wanted to bless them. So he reached there. And instead of cursing them, he ended up blessing them. We have this greed in our lives as Christians. Sometimes you want things but you pretend that you don't want them because of your own gain. Even this man, even this king Balak, used the son of Balaam to approach him because he knew that this his son loved money so much. So as Christians, let's see, uh, let's avoid things that will make us not to follow God this way. Let's allow God to deal with us. That's what I can say. Let's allow God to deal with us so that in case of anything, we might receive blessings. Because even if we have sinned, we will be forgiven. Israel, the Israelites sinned, but God forgave them and he wanted them to be blessed instead of being cursed. The same way we have even pastors or even leaders, they are after too much only material things 
they can sell more books than preaching the word of God. They can spend little time to deliver the word of God, but spend a lot of time maybe selling books because of their own gains. The same Balaam, like Balaam. Balaam only wanted to show the king that he was. He wanted to cast these people, but because God has has denied, now he really wanted to benefit in a way that that was hidden. But God didn't like that. So let's do God's work. If we have decided to do God's work and we are known for God's work, let's do God's work. He will deal with us. He is going to bless us. So let's give him a chance to deal with us. May God bless you so much. If you like this video, thumbs up. You can subscribe to this channel for more sharing. See you next time. Bye.